Hi guys, it's time to work on our summer series here. We're gonna start with summer arms, so we're gonna be working on shoulders, biceps, and triceps. All you need is a couple sets of dumbbells, so you have choices with your weight, and get creative with your weight if you need to. So you can use water bottles, soup cans, whatever you have, okay? And then have a wall or something like that close by. Okay, let's get going. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start with a little bit of mobility just to warm up. So we're doing chest and back arm swings here. Abs pulled in tight. Lengthen through both sides of your waist and keep your knees soft. Now, go ahead and change it to scissors where you're gonna scissor the arm back. Getting in that warm up here. Okay, from here we're gonna alternate arm circles. So it's going to look a little silly, like a windmill kind of. So you're going to circle around, make it as big as you can. Now the faster you go, you can start to work the core stabilizers a little bit. All right, and then you're going to reverse it. Start slow and just really think about the motion. Make it as big as you can. And then could you start to go faster? Shake that out. Let's move on. So now you need a wall. Okay, shoulders against the wall. So you're gonna reach the arm up as much as you can and then push your chest down into the wall and keep reaching your fingertips as long as possible. Hold three, two, one, release, and then do it again. Press into it, have a wide stance that's comfortable for you and then you're gonna switch arms, same thing. You may feel it in through the lats here as well, if you're tighter there. Now you're going to go across your body, so fingertips pointing out, and then twist away. Push your shoulder down as much as you can as you do that. Hold about three seconds. Switching sides, same thing. Fingers and the hand rotate. And again. And one more time. Then you're going to open up. Fingers away and rotate away. Push that shoulder down. Lengthen both sides of the waist as you do that. Got the Stellar J's talking here. Switch, same thing. Okay, and then a little bit for the wrist, so just first do some circles for the wrist. So three, two, one, circle the other way, three, two, one. Now a little bit of extension and so flexion and extension here. So first we'll start with our extension and you're going to keep pushing you keep walking your hand down keep the heel of the hand planted down hard until you feel stretched then you release a little bit and then you stretch and release okay flexing here and now you're going to keep raising your arm up as much as you can to feel a stretch release it push in and release. Don't force it. Keep it easy. Now let's try the other side. Same thing. Going down, down, down. Extending through our wrist and push the heel down into the wall. Release. Hold three, two, one and release. And then flex. Now can you keep raising your hand up? Don't push hard. Just keep it easy. Release. Little circles again. And let's go ahead and get going. So we're gonna have four rounds of three exercises. Shoulder, bicep, tricep, here we go. So for each exercise, we're gonna do kind of a slow four count up, four count down, and then fast but controlled. So it'll be first slow four times and then faster eight, okay? So start with some shoulder presses, knee soft, lengthen both sides of the waist, 
and you're going to come up slow. Now as you come up, keep your shoulders down, lengthen through the sides of the waist, and then come down slow. So really focus on stabilizing your body here as you're doing that. Bring the arm right overhead, all the way down. So hitting the shoulders first here. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go faster. So we're gonna do eight times, ready? Eight, seven, six, but no shoulder shrugs. And four, three, two, and one. Go right into bicep curls. Now you're gonna have palms in. You're gonna rotate the palms up, go slow. Now if you wanna go a little bit heavier here, you can. And the whole time, fight your upper body from moving. So just keep your chest open the whole time as you do that. Resist the weight on the way down. And you really wanna keep your wrists straight. I think we got one more slow one, right? So curling that pinky up and in. And then down. The knee soft, abs pulled in. Okay, now we go faster eight times. Ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Going into tricep kickbacks. So palms in, and you're going to rotate the palms up, hold a slight second, and then bend the elbows. Keep the chest open with the shoulders back and down. Starting slow again, remember that. Exhale, hold, and coming down. All right, so we got one more time, just like that. So really focus on the back of the arm here. In the tricep, we're gonna hit it from different angles, so moving our hand in different directions. Now, let's go faster. Here we go. Eight, seven, it's controlled, no momentum as you're doing that. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into front raises. You might wanna grab a lighter weight. Abs pulled in, knees soft, and you're gonna come up slow. You're gonna go about eye level, and then come down. Do not shrug. Keep reaching the fingers out. Long, so just think long arms. Getting in front of the shoulder here. That was two. Got two more. Okay, ready? One more slow, all right? Go up as high as you can where you keep the shoulders down and engaged. Okay, so now we're gonna go eight fast. You ready? Here we go. Fast, but control. Six, seven, and eight. All right, so then we're gonna go into bicep curls. I'm gonna go with the heavier one here again. Okay, so now we're gonna rotate the palms down just to change it up a little bit. So you're gonna lift up slow, rotate the palms down, come up, 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 squeeze the bicep as much as you can, think about what you're working, and then coming down slow. So if you have a mirror close by, when you look at yourself in a mirror, look at the muscles that you're working, okay? Looking at the front of that upper arm here, rotating the palm down, coming down slow, resist. Up, up. Go slow and controlled. Like how slow can you go for the first four? All right. One more here. So now resist on the way down. Resist slow, 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 slow. Now let's go a little bit faster, but controlled. Eight. Seven. Knees are soft, right? You're not locking out the knees. And here's five, four, three, two, 
three, two, and one. Okay, so tricep, so now we're gonna rotate the palm down. So it feels a little awkward, but it really works, okay? And then down, I might have to go with a lighter weight here. You gotta keep the elbows back as much as you can and keep changing the weight. You want it to be a challenge for you. Okay, I want to keep my forearm good because I can feel myself lowering my elbows down. So I'm going to go with a lighter weight for these two. Chest is open. Squeeze. Straighten that arm out. That is how you're hitting the tricep. That's the function of the tricep is to straighten the elbow. All right. One more slow here. Breathe into it. And down slow. Okay, you guys ready? We got eight faster. It's control. Eight, seven, six. Oh, I feel those. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so from here, what we're going to do is we're going to work the rear deltoid. So you're going to want to go lighter with this weight. So you're going to lean forward. You can go in a staggered stance or a wide stance, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're gonna take the arm out to the side, pinky up, but the shoulders need to stay down. So if you need to rotate the arms back a little more, that's fine, or come up a little higher. Okay, ready? Here we go, so go up. Neck is neutral, so look in a neutral, look down a little bit so that neck is straight. Four, and then down slow. So try to keep the arms as straight as you can with this. And you don't wanna feel your shoulders raise up towards your ears at all. Keep length through your neck. Think about it. So you're really using the back of the shoulder here to raise the arms up. Mind into the muscle here. Okay, one more slot. Ready? Exhale. Breathe it out. Core's engaged, right? All right, I'm gonna switch legs. We're gonna go faster eight times. Here we go. Remember, fast is still controlled. There's no momentum with it. So think up smooth, down smooth. Pretend like you're moving through molasses, honey, whatever. What number are we on? Four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going into side bicep curls. You might need to stay with a lighter weight. Go heavier when you need to and want to. So your elbows stay right into your side. Not going all the way down. You don't want to hyperextend the elbows. So just keep a slight bend. And you're going to curl up slow. Go slow, go slow. Okay, and then down. Okay, knees are soft, right? Lengthen both sides of the waist. Keep going through those checkpoints. Inhale. Exhale, come up. Gotta breathe. And we're gonna come down slowly. So I'm calling this our summer army, the summer arm series here. But remember, you're getting your arms stronger, but you can't spot reduce areas. So you do have to focus a little bit more on your diet and eat real food lots of fruits and vegetables and get in your cardio too and that helps to burn more calories. I think we got one more slow, okay? Right, and then coming down. Slow, resist, resist the weight. Okay, so now faster and controlled. Eight times. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down onto our mat. Okay, cross tricep extension. So you're gonna take one weight here. You wanna push your shoulder down. So I'll show you on this side first. Push the shoulder down and abs are pulled in. Plant your legs down hard. Feel the back of the shoulder down on the mat as much as you can. So before you even start the first one, get your body strong and stable, okay? 
and then from here you're gonna bend the elbow so it goes across towards the opposite shoulder notice my upper arm doesn't move though and then you come up slowly so focusing on the back of the arm here okay going down and across slow and controlled open chest a little bit of a pinch of the shoulder blades there come up really squeeze focus on it two more slow and then lift go slow slower is better okay muscle it and one more at this speed here really slow and controlled are tough. Now we're going to go eight a little faster. It is controlled. Down, lift up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch sides, same thing. Push the shoulder down, go down slow, and don't let the upper arm move at all. So you're not going across your body. You're not doing this, okay? You gotta keep that upper arm stable. And then come up slow, right? Shoulder is down. Bend the elbow slowly. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, slow is hard for me to do, especially when I'm talking. I just wanna go faster and move through it quicker. It's good to challenge yourself in different tempos. Make sure you're going heavy enough where you really feel it. Like this one, I should probably go a little bit heavier. In fact, maybe I will. In fact, I will. It's right here. And then coming up slow. Oh, yeah. That's it. If you don't feel it at all, go heavier. But you've got to focus on your form first. That's why I always say lighter to begin with. Okay, now eight faster. Here we go. So it's eight, seven. Notice I'm not moving my upper arm there. Just bending the elbow, going across the body, lifting up, and hopefully I'm on four. Can't talk and count at the same time. And three, and two, and that's the last one. So now we're gonna go into, next one you can stand up if you'd like, or go into a kneeling position here, or sit in a chair, whatever's comfortable for you. And we're gonna do a little bit of upright rows. Okay, so we're gonna go slow, upright row. And notice my hands are wide, so you really want to have the weight in line with the chest. And then we're going to go deltoid raise. We're going to open up to the side. Now when you open up to the side, you've got to have the elbows bent, okay? Come down slow. Okay, so that is one rep right there. So now we're going upright row again. So think like you're zipping up your coat, sort of. Your hands are wider. And then down. And remember, if you want to stand here, please do. Deltoid raise, taking the elbow out to the side. Don't lead with your hands, lead with the elbows. And we'll all look different, you know, our flexibility is all different. So just don't go up too high where you're shrugging your shoulders. All right, ready? We've got two more like that. So upright row again. Core's engaged, right? And then coming down. Resist, resist, resist. Out to the side, bringing the shoulder again. I'm gonna use this. Three slow, right? Ooh. And we got one more to go slow. And then resist on the way down. Gotta hit our deltoid. Raise though, here we go, out to the side, open up. And down. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna combine that a little faster, right? One and one. Upright, deltoid. Here's three and four and five. Try not to let your chin jut out too. Keep the 
length through the back of the neck. Six. Seven. Eight. And eight. Okay, so now we're doing bicep curls. Palming it in towards the midline of the body. And then jam, all right? So here we go, really slow. I gotta go heavier. Down slow. Open chest. So keep thinking, what could I go heavier on this, right? So let me do it real quick here. Just one. Going down slow. Here's two. Up, up, up. And remember to not grip the dumbbells really tight. When you do, that's more forearm, which, yeah, it's good to work, and it's good to work your grip. But I really want you to think, what are you working here? You're working the front of the arm, right? Working that bicep. So think about the bicep doing the work. I believe this is four. Lean in, and then down. Okay, ready? You got eight faster. Let's do it. Eight, controlled faster. Seven. resist. Three, two, and one. Laying down again. Okay, so now we got our lion tricep extension or skull crushers, but we're not going to hit our head, so you're going to have both weights in the hand. Again, push the shoulders down, engage your body as much as you can, and think about your checkpoints for safety and technique, right? So dig your heels down, abs pulled in, chest is open, and then bend the elbows slowly. Your upper arm does not move, and then you're going to come up slow. You really want to keep that elbow right above the shoulder there. Try not to move the whole arm. And you even want to engage your back, your lats here. So you want to think, come up slowly here. You want to think, engage your lat, push that shoulder down, and then lifting up slow. Okay, ready? We got two more like that. I think the sun wants to come out here. Okay, up slow. Muscle it up, right? Not gripping the dumbbells really tight, focusing on the back of the arm doing the work. Always exercise mindfully. Think about what muscles you're working here. So working the back of the arm or triceps. Up slow one more time. I need my sunglasses on now. All right, here we go. Eight faster. Eight. Watch your head, right? That's why they're called skull crushers, but don't hit your head. I've done it many times when I'm not focused. Four more, okay? All right, and you guys did it. So you just did four rounds of exercises. What you could do is go through all of that again one more time if you'd like. You might wanna see how you feel the next day first and then move up from there, okay? Stretching everything out here. So one arm across, push the shoulder down, and just sit however's comfortable for you. Really focus on your breath and focus inward a little bit here. And switch arms, same thing. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to go into a seated shoulder stand. So you take the hands behind you, fingers down, and then bring the elbows back as much as you can. Just keep trying to bring the elbows back. Take a nice deep breath in right now. Blow it out. Now we're gonna open the arms out to the side and you're going to extend the wrists, so flex them back. Okay. Going into wrist extension. Okay, now flex the wrists and then rotate away from you and open. Just to change it up here. Trying to get through even the biceps a little bit if you can, okay? 
All right, so from here, we're gonna do a tricep overhead. So you're just bringing the arm up as much as you can. And if you don't have good flexibility and this is all you can do, that's fine. You're trying to go up higher though. Keep pushing your shoulder down, engage your back, engage your left, and keep the core in and try to keep the ribs down as much as you can. Deep breath in, blow it out. Okay, switching sides, same thing. Shoulder down, great length, and just keep walking your fingers back, down your spine as much as you can. So now just sit here for a minute, place your hands over your heart, close your eyes, and just focus inward. Okay, remember that Live Joyfully Well is about focusing on all areas of wellness each week to increase your joy. So each day maybe have a different focus. So maybe today you can work on intellectual joy, stimulate your brain. And so maybe you can try a new skill or maybe even if it's just a new recipe, try something new, try something different. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Bye-bye.